Hey Virgo, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Um, we're going to just be taking a look at the end of February, a little bit into March. Please keep in mind the energy is fluid. So this may have already happened. It may be happening or it may manifest for you anywhere between now and the next three months. If at any time this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button. It does help with the algorithm of my channel and it will help other Virgos find this video easier. Um, if at any time you are interested in a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started with my prayer and blessing and see what messages spirit has for you mother father god divine holy spirit of the most high thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for virgo in regards to their current life situation soul journey and soul path I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles and soul lessons Virgo may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Um, I, I, so I'm getting this, I keep getting this vision of like somebody trying to break through a lot of cement, like a cinder block. I don't know if that means something to you or like, so you're trying to break through barriers. barriers. There's something that you're trying to get to and I feel like there's been difficulty. So let's see here, spiritual guidance, please. We do have the full moon coming up this week. So let's take a look for Virgo. Okay, so you have the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. And then you have new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So. I feel what's happening here is maybe maybe you're push it's like a dead end like you're pushing too hard on something and that's why it's not happening you don't need to push on it anymore like when you release the pressure it's going to it's going to come through it's just going to happen the door is just going to open whatever it is okay so your hard work is paying off and meditate and contemplate and so the meditate and contemplate is letting me know that spirit is like we need you to we need you to sit down we need you to peace out we need you to zone out um you could be pushing yourself too hard virgo um to the point of exhaustion and spirit is just telling you like look you're doing what you need to do um, don't overcompensate, like don't do more than you have to because what's, okay, let me explain to you what I'm seeing, what I mean by that. Not don't overcompensate, but it's more like you're doing, you're doing all this extra work that you're actually not even going to have to do when this comes through. So if you can just like release the pressure a little bit. Um, you're going to start to see it all flow together. So take some time to really meditate. Um, you know, set aside time every day where you can go sit somewhere, whether you're listening to meditation, relaxation music, go sit outside, just listen to the sounds of earth, ask to connect to God, call in the Holy Spirit to, you know, protect and guide you through this meditation. It's just important right because we can pray until we're blue in the face but in all reality if we don't sit and meditate how else do you expect to receive the answers that you're waiting for from from god you have to meditate that's where the answers will be given to you that's where you clear out the clutter so that the answers and the guidance can come in okay so let's take a look here virgo what we have
Yeah, recent past, Wheel of Fortune, spinning, spinning. Your mind was spinning. Everything was spinning. So much energy going on around you. Four of coins. You are holding a lot inside, a lot of lessons, a lot of patterns, a lot of cycles being shown to you. I feel like it could have, it, it, it's funny because it's like it was super overwhelming, but here you are with the cement wall, not letting anything out, holding on to your bricks in a tent, not releasing it. And then you, yeah, the five of wands, very conflicting energy. Ace of wands is your current energy. Wow, and the Ace of Cups. This is this is why this is why spirit is telling you like let go. Just let go. We have something for you. There it is, and the 6 of Wands um as the outcome. And then we have the 7 of Swords on the bottom. So I want to hmm, let me look underneath and see what we got going on. Cuz that just like blew everything, huh? Okay, there we go. I see what it is. So you have the 6 of Swords underneath. I feel like on a very deep soul level, you have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups, the High Priestess and Temperance. Okay, so I was in the going in the right area. Okay, so just with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords, what I was picking up with these pictures, um, as I feel like you have kept a lot inside, a lot of your truth, a lot of your thoughts, um, you keep a lot inside, you only share a little bit, and what you do share seems to kind of be like, um, especially with the two, it being two swords, which is taking me to the two of swords, what you do open up and share, it's like a double-edged sword, um, and people are still unsure of where they stand, you know, based on how and what you're choosing to show and express of yourself. But there's so much of you that you've kept inside, it's because of pain and trauma that you've been through. And I, and, I, and I see you kind of needing to go backwards just for a minute. That's what I'm seeing with the Six of Swords. You're needing to go backwards just for a minute to go back and retrieve the feeling or whatever it is that has kept you from wanting to express who you are and, and your truth your, your whole life, Virgo. It, and that's what I'm seeing. And when you go back into that, and you know through your intuition here, because you have the Page of Cups with the High Priestess. So I feel like sometimes, Virgo, you 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 kind of go within a little bit. You're going to look around. Okay, everything looks good, good. Let's keep it together. Boop, boop, boop. Like, that's what I see. It's like, I'm just going to keep it in this nice little box. But there's an energy inside of you that's like, you know better. You know that it's so much more than this little box inside. It's all of this, right? And that's when you're going to find your healing with temperance. So let's get in. I feel like the only person you're fooling is yourself. That's the energy that I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. So recent past, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Coins, Five of Wands. There's a lot of inner conflict going on inside of you, and it has to do with the way things were moving in your life. Which direction are things going? Is this a lesson? Is this fate? Do I want destiny? Which direction do I go? But for some reason with the four of coins and the five of wands, I just see it being a battle. There was a lot of conflict. You may have been having financial issues in the past um, and or you're just not really wanting to express much. You're keeping a lot within and it was causing a lot of conflict inside as well. Um, and I so the spirit is showing me like it was kind of on purpose not that you did it on purpose but spirit had a hand in making sure that you were in situations that would cause you to react this way it's almost like what i'm seeing like a um not an explosion but like you know like when you push something too hard and you keep pushing you keep it you're gonna break through Kind of like what you're doing. But in this case, they want you to loosen up a little bit because then that's when it's going to start overflowing. 
but they were they were pushing you to your breaking point they were pushing you to your breaking point spirit was there's a definite situation here in the past that shows a lot of internal conflict and i think too a lot of it wasn't even real you made up a lot of different scenarios in your head here because i can see how like transparent all of these different people are it wasn't even really happening but it was affecting you Clarify the four of coins and the five of wands, please. The king of cups, is, it was about emotions. So how you choose to control your, mo your emotions is through, this is really intense, but it's through like internal conflict and turmoil. You just keep it all inside and then that's what you think is controlling your emotions. But what really happens is it ends up leaving everything kind of up in the air, all over the place. Nothing is, is solid. Nothing's being brought to fruition. And then you feel very, very stuck because what's going on on the inside now reflects your outside world. And look at all of these obstacles you've got to walk through just to move an inch forward. Yeah, and then you have the tower and the five of swords. So this was a learning lesson for you. I do feel like that. I think that you have really kind of been understanding where you need to loosen up a little bit in terms of emotions. Um, and keeping things inside because you can over control something. So there's a lot of barriers that you're, you're needing to break through here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Your current energy is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So you have a beautiful opportunity presenting itself here. Um, I feel like it's some type of celebratory event as well because the Three of Cups is on the bottom. You're bringing a lot of things together. You're bringing a lot of things together. And it could just be that as you align yourself and as you shed old perceptions and old parts of yourself and you align uh, to a higher frequency, you and that's you letting go of the button, right? That's you letting go of the button and allowing these new opportunities to come in. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups, overabundance and joy, love, um, happiness, you know, it's like you're, you're being given a second chance is what I'm seeing. Um, and then you have the Ace of Wands, which is pure energy. The Ace of Wands is pure energy. It means it hasn't been touched. It's been purified. It's been cleansed. Typically what happens with the Ace of Wands and why a lot of us readers refer to it as reconciliation or forgiveness is because it represents what happens after you have cleansed yourself, repented, healed, been working on yourself you're now being presented with pure, fresh energy that you can mold and create. You can become the magician and step into this new opportunity and really design it the way that you want from a higher perception because you're getting divine love as well, which means that unconditional love has stepped in. There's a love opportunity that's stepping into you that you can create and transform and mold it into your desires. For a lot of you, this is about combining your love and your passion together. Your zest, your dream. Clarify the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, please. But really, this is about you shutting out the, the toxicity inside. What are You know what I'm saying? Like Keeping things inside actually blocks you in the outside world. So if there's anything hidden, if there's anything that's still eating you up, you have to get it out is what I'm seeing with the Seven of Swords. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, please, for Virgo. There's fears, I think, holding you back. That spirit's like, just let go, just let go. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, you have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords to clarify the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I mean, this looks just painful. I know it's not easy to walk around like that. This is a lot 
also it's like self-sabotage because you see how he's alone so i don't know if this is you or the other person but it's those two of swords again that somebody's walking on here almost like walking on eggshells this is whatever spirit saying you have the opportunity to break free from this virgo you have the opportunity to break free from mental and verbal commotion confusion toxicity from within because i see a lot of heartbreak and this heartbreak and this pain that you're carrying with you you're actually letting it lead the way like you see everything through this perception and it's just constantly like i don't see a lot of positive thinking i don't see a lot of positive thoughts there's just anxiety there's you know what i mean but but with the ace of wands and the ace of cups spirit is saying this is the time for you to break free break through break out of this energy again keeping the emotions inside you may need to that's where this this meditate and contemplate i feel like you contemplate a lot but you forget the meditation part you feel like you're missing out. There's a lot of concern and self-doubt surrounding these new beginnings. That's what I'm seeing. For the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords to come out as your clarifying cards for the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. What is this? This means that you don't even believe it's coming and that's what's blocking it. You're pushing against what it is you want so hard that you're going to actually manifest it not happening for you that's what i see with the five of swords and the ten of swords this is about you releasing there's no reason to ever feel negative there's none it doesn't matter what anybody says all of this is temporary none of it matters you're just supposed to be here be happy and create you're not supposed to get lost in the what ifs and the whatevers because the what ifs are usually connected to something of this world. So if it's connected to something of this world, it means it's negative and it also means that it's not everlasting, that it will die, that it's not permanent. But if you connect your what ifs to the positive, to spirit, to it's going to work god never fails a promise this is what's going to happen i can always be happy connect to the essence of something what it is you're looking for the fulfillment the joy the spirit you're not looking for the foundational physical if you're looking for money it won't come you're going to create a block you have to switch your perception stop thinking that what ifs mean i'm prepared and this is what could go wrong we already know what could go wrong Stop preparing for it. We already know. That's like a given. The whole world knows what could go wrong. But what could go right? You, we don't focus enough on what's going to happen when it goes right. Your outcome is the six of wands. And it's, it's, it's really fitting for, for what we're going through um, in this reading for you, especially with the meditate and contemplate. There's two things that the six of wands can represent. It can represent achievement, success, victory, um, it can also mean recognition in the public eye. Maybe some of you are doing something that, you know, the public will know. Maybe you're a reader on YouTube or you've got some, you know, musician or whatever it is. But the Six of Wands also represents pride. And that's what's getting in the way. So for this to be the outcome, Virgo, you know, it's really either or. It depends on what you do. Yes, is it hard to fight through you know mental and emotional battles yes it is you know i'm there too but if you call on god and if you bring in the holy spirit and the light of yeshua and just let it lead your way so that you can understand how to become aligned all of those worries and those concerns that you have will turn into hope and joy and then you will succeed clarify the six of wands please All right. Page of Cups and the Two of Coins. 
it's still keeping it in that box. It's still, you know, a little bit, you're open to it. You're like, mm, but there's still this energy of it could, it couldn't, it could, it couldn't. Okay, so the outcome for you is really going to be based off of free will. Your, your outcome in this situation, Virgo, is really going to be based off of what you decide um, at the last moment. And Spirit is really giving you until the last moment because they want to see you succeed. Um, the full moon is coming up and the portal closes by February 22nd. Um, and I would just use this as an opportunity to really call in God and the Holy Spirit and ask to be released from all that is holding you back. Even if you don't understand it, ask them to help guide you to understand it so that you can release it because you deserve it. And you have something that is very deep and, and near to you. Um, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, I feel like it's in your energy, like it's around you, this new beginning, this new opportunity, this new love. I feel like it's in your face, but you still, you can't get to it. All right, Virgo, sending you much love.